Hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Talk Entertainment News. If you've not yet subscribed to our channel, please take a moment to do that now. In a moment, we got a little bit of an update on the world of the X-Files. But before we get there, just a quick call to action for you guys. We are trying to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of next year. That is 2024. Right now, we're just a few subscribers shy of 4,000. But we're trying to get a jump on that drive for 5,000. So we need your help. Subscribe. Uh, hit the like button on our videos, hit the alert bell so you get alerts for all of our new videos, comment, give super thanks, become a member, do all these things, help tell the YouTube algorithm that you are paying attention, that you want us to be uh, pushed to the front of the line <laughs> in your feed. All right then, the X-Files reportedly plotting a return from producer Ryan Coogler. Now this isn't new news, um, this was rumored earlier in the year, but it seems like <clears throat> there is some movement going on. It's been five years since The X-Files wrapped up its two revival seasons with a planned animated series scrapped earlier this year. So what's next for the world of The X-Files? According to a new report from Bloomberg this week, Ryan Coogler, Black Panther, is still attached to produce a brand new version of The X-Files, which franchise creator Chris Carter had first teased earlier this year. The site reports Disney is developing a new version of The X-Files that would be produced by Ryan Coogler, the director of Black Panther and Creed. Carter had previously teased a new series would feature a diverse cast. Stay tuned for more as we learn it. The X-Files originally ran for nine seasons from September 1993 to May 2002, with 10th and 11th seasons arriving in 2016 and 2018. In total, 218 episodes were made. Additionally, the universe of the X-Files was expanded upon with two feature films, The X-Files Fight the Future in 1998, and later The X-Files I Want to Believe in 2008. The planned animated series spinoff that was officially axed earlier this year was titled The X-Files Albuquerque, uh, which was said to be a comedy centered on new characters. Um, so yeah, um, I'm a big X-Files fan, uh, warts and all, going all the way back to the beginning. I remember where I was at on the night that the first episode aired. I was over at my friend Josh's house, hanging out, sleeping over, and we watched that very first episode. And then from there on out, um, back at my own house, we watched it every... It was on fr Fridays for a while. It was also on Sundays at, a, at one point. Uh, but we had very, very bad television. It was hard to get Fox. We had an antenna up on the roof. And... Um, on the best of nights, it was looked pretty snowy, and because most of the episodes are very, very dark, I had to use my imagination quite a bit. Uh, but later, had them on reruns, had them on DVD, had them on cable, and got to see them in all their full glory then, finally. Um, but yeah, big fan since the beginning. Uh, again, warts and all. Um, you know, I think by today's standard, it feels a bit sloppy. It has the sloppiness of a lost with a lot of promises and not a lot of payoff. Uh, but they were breaking new ground, and I don't think they quite knew where it was going. It was sort of the impossible premise thing. Um, but yeah, I, I still love X-Files. I'm still hoping to see more X-Files. Uh, Ryan Coogler is a good as person as anybody, I guess, to um, bring it into the future. Um, there is this uh, mention of featuring a diverse cast. I hope they believe that or, or mean that. I hope that that is the case. Um, a diverse cast uh, rather than a complete um, race swapping Um you know, Ryan Coogler is known for uh, very African-American centric productions, which is OK. Um, that's his thing. Uh, but I think that for uh, a revival to work for everybody, it should feel like the world that we want to live in, which is a diverse world, um, a fair and equitable world, but also one where uh, if you're going to be doing this, um, use the angles to tell stories that would be more difficult to tell. Um, if it was an all white cast or an all black cast or an all Asian cast, um, and, you know, bring in, uh, well, there, there already was a, a, a Chupacabra episode, um, but, you know, bring in all of these, uh, the various ethnic groups and their folklore and see where that intersects with these, these sort of science fiction ideas that the X-Files has always done. I think that is a possible avenue. On the other hand, um, they may try to uh, clean up the mess of the old series, which is to um, have a clear and defined alien mythology. That's another way you could go. But but I really I'm really fond of the old um, monster of the week format. I think that is probably where they should begin. On the other hand, being the day and age that it is, um, with a lot of these limited series straight to streaming with. Um, you know, six or eight episode seasons, 
Uh, those type of shows often have very concise stories, um, sort of like extended movies. Uh, that's another avenue. Um, but for, for my money, uh, I think the best way to go is for that monster, the monster of a week thing. Don't necessarily tie everything together, at least not in a first season. If you come back with uh, subsequent other seasons, then go ahead and um, build an overarching mythology again. Uh, but I like to have... Um, something new and different every week. And I think that's where the X-Files was always at its best, despite that the had the ambition to do something more um, with the alien mythology, but it never really, never really quite pulled it off. So um, there's a lot going on, a lot of possibilities. It'd be interesting to see where this turns out. I hope that it comes to standard television, over the air, cable, as well as streaming. Because um, I think, given where it aired, I think a lot of, a lot of audience is going to be um, still um, on those older formats, not necessarily, not necessarily coming directly to streaming for this. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm a big advocate of shows that air across multi-platforms. That way, all generations, all types of people can enjoy them wherever they live. So there you have it. Um, new X-Files, apparently still in the works. What do you think? Drop a comment in the comment section below and let me know. Until next time, keep it creepy.